Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here coming at you with another kick-ass episode of the Art of Mortgage Marketing podcast. And I'm laughing right now because I literally just came from outside and we had a torrential downpour. I kid you not, a torrential downpour to the point where my garage was flooding. So if I seem a little disheveled, it's because I am. I had the sump pump rocking. I was getting all mucky. I was literally drenched right before I got on this live broadcast. Uh, I had to get my son to back me up. My 12-year-old son is there watching the float on the sump pump, making sure it stays on. Our backyard is literally like there's water everywhere. We had this uh, thunderstorm that just started bringing down water in sheets. So it's, uh, it's crazy to uh, moment to moment be living this wild adventure called life. You never know what's going to happen next. Never a dull freaking moment. So anyhow, where was I? I was supposed to launch this thing live about seven or eight minutes ago. So uh, thank you guys for being patient as uh, yeah, when uh, the shit hits the proverbial fan, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So here I am doing this live uh, broadcast of our podcast, and uh, I literally didn't have a moment to even think about what I was going to say. I just pressed the let's go live button, and here we are. So never a dull freaking moment. <sighs> got to just take a deep breath here. <laughs> Whew, that was crazy. Uh, now I know how to get my uh, electrical cord ready to go because I had no idea where the frick it was. I had to go running here and running there looking for my cable so I could get the sump pump going. So now I'm ready. If we have another one of these crazy uh, rainstorms, I'm ready for it. So today we're going to be doing in the theme of live, raw and real, we're going to be doing a la ask Doran Aldana anything call, anything related to mortgage marketing. If you ask me anything else, chances are I'm going to be freaking clueless. But when it comes to mortgage marketing, not my first rodeo, 17 years in the game coaching mortgage pros to success. This is my first, by the way, if you're watching this live or in recorded and you're seeing the visuals, this is my first iteration of doing this with my green screen technology. So I don't know uh, how it's looking on your end, but on my end, it's looking pretty cool. So if you're digging this, this is just the first iteration of more cool stuff coming down the pipe from mortgagemarketingcoach.com. And uh, we're finally getting with the 21st century with some cool backgrounds and some cool visuals. So it's only gonna get better from here. It's called Operation Innovation Optimization, baby. That's how we rock it here on Planet Prosper. So it's only going to get better from here, y'all. So this Ask Me Anything edition of the podcast is really designed to get interactive with you guys. So before we went live, I posted a uh, submission on the Facebook group and the multiple different platforms and channels we have asking, what's your single biggest question as it relates to growing your mortgage business in the face of mar margin compression, rising interest rates, hyper competition, and low inventory? we got lots of great questions. By the way, if you're watching this live, you can submit your question. Just pop it in underneath the Facebook post that you're watching this and I will see it live and I'll literally pop it on the screen and answer your question live. No extra charge. You're welcome. I'm here for you. So this is just a, a way to have fun and get more engaged and get more connected in the community and to be of service to you guys. So if you guys dig it, we'll do it again. If not, then, you know, it's a one and done, but uh, we've done this before and I uh, got an impression that you guys dug it. So we're doing it again and we'll keep doing it again. As long as you guys are feeling the value and uh, you're getting the value from it. So let me know if you dig it, because uh, if you dig it, we'll keep doing it. So here's the first question. I'm still literally shaking from being outside in a mad scramble trying to uh, bilge pump my uh, garage, my second garage, as it was getting flooded by a torrential downpour. So whew, my heart's still pounding. Crazy. Here we go, guys. Buckle up. Seats in the upright position. It's go time. So again, if you're watching this live, feel free to submit your questions just by popping your questions uh, in the commentary underneath, underneath the Facebook live post. If you just post in the comment section, I'll see it here. So feel free to get your questions in. Uh, so here's the first question that uh, we have submitted. Thank you, by the way, all of you who submitted your awesome questions. Really appreciate the engagement. And the first question is this. My refis have dried up 
business is down. How do I get more realtor referrals without cold calling? By the way, we're keeping it anon anonymous just, you know, to make it easy for you guys to submit questions without worry to, worrying about being uh, hyper-conscious or self-conscious or, you know, feeling embarrassed or whatever. We just keep it anonymous. So if you want to get your questions in live, you can do so anonymously, just so you know. Uh, and that being said, it's a really relevant question for what we're dealing with right now. Hyper competition, rising interest rates, low inventory, and uh, of course, mar margin compression, making it uh, more and more difficult to make the same amount of money we used to make with the same amount of loans. So the storm that is galing against you, first, I want to just say the, so the storm you're feeling the heat on right now is the same storm that's hitting everybody. So it's not just you. Pretty much every state, every province, both in Canada and the U.S., is feeling that shift in the market. Now, obviously, some people more than others. If you're brand new, you're probably feeling the heat more than someone who's been in the business for multiple years or decades. If you have a strong base of realtors, if you have a strong base in the purchase market, and if you're well diversified, your chances are least and last affected versus first and most. But nonetheless, that same storm is galing against everybody. So uh, you can, if that's worth any consolation, get some sense of uh, feeling the knowing that uh, you're not the only one that's feeling that heat. And that tends to help a little bit just to know that you're not the only one. Now, when it comes to the way out of that mess and into mastering the purchase market in the face of refis drying up. The first thing is, is just to know that regardless of what's going on in the economy with rates or inventory, people are going to keep getting into the market, moving up in the market, getting married, getting divorced and dying. And all those require transactions. So you, again, should have a sense of confidence from knowing that there's always going to be transactions. The question is, how do you get more of them? Well, obviously, there's lots of different ways to skin the cat when it comes to getting more purchase business. But as I've said before, I'll keep saying it. The shortest path to the cash is always going to be top producing realtor partners. So that's where I would suggest you start. If you don't have a stable of 10 to 15 rock star top producing realtors sending you all their business, that's where I would start because frankly everything else is uh relatively a you know much less fruitful type of opportunity yes there's cpas yes there's financial planners yes there's bank referrals yes there's lots of different social media avenues as well but if you want to take the shortest path to the cash there's nothing that compares to top producing realtors. Now you might be thinking, but Dorn, I don't really like working with realtors. They're prima donnas, you know, they're flaky, they're annoying, they're micromanagers. Uh, I don't like working with them. It's just, it's more uh, ener energy suck than frankly it's worth. It's too much squeeze, not enough juice. And if you feel that way, I feel you. Lots of mortgage professionals have that experience. That's usually the symptom that you're doing it the hard way with these realtors because you don't have a unique value proposition. You're kind of in this groveling energy where you feel like you need them more than they need you. So there's this feeling like you're kind of chasing, begging, bribing, groveling, ass kissing. That's never fun. So what we need to do is shift the dynamics so that the realtor needs you more than you need them. Right? We need to shift the dynamic so that you hold the cookie. You're in the driver's seat. You hold the power position. The question, of course, is how do you do that, right? That's the million-dollar question. And that's, frankly, a big reason why people hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com is to learn the secret sauce and how to do that. But the essence of it is we need to laser focus, target the right people. So rather than just kind of throwing yogurt at the fan, hoping something sticks with uh, anyone with a pulse that could fog a mirror who calls himself a realtor, we want to be more laser focused and more intentional. Instead of using the shotgun, we want to use the sniper rifle, which means determining who is the top producer, say top maybe 20 plus uh, buyer sides a year type of realtors that are doing at least 20 buyer sides a year. I would consider that a quote unquote top producer and to target those people. Now, if you're in Canada, it's a little, a little harder to do that. But if you're in the US, we have tools, we call it the rapid fire realtor reconnaissance system, where we're able to laser focus in on people that are doing 20 plus transactions a year. Not only that, it allows us to find out 
who's doing their loans. Are they leaving it to chance or are they referring to a preferred lender? It allows us to see all that information and their average loan size and what where those transactions are occurring, how many of them, how many listing transactions, how many buyer side transactions, it gives you all that information. So that comes in really handy when it comes to targeting the people that are most likely to be an ideal partner for you. Then once you've got that list of their name, their email, their phone number, their transaction count, all that, then we want to load them into what we call your realtor attraction campaign that sends out the words that work, that gets them hot for what you got. So they're pre-cooked, pre-tenderized, predisposed to say yes to a meeting before you even talk to them. Case in point, I just got a text from uh, one of my loan officers at my mortgage brokerage. Uh, by the way, our loan officers at our mortgage brokerage uh, that is licensed in Texas, South Carolina, and Florida, a best life mortgage. Uh, we offer this exact same system that people off the street in other states and other locations in Canada and the US are paying a significant amount to get access to my best life loan officers get access complimentary. So that's one of the reasons, of course, why people are coming to us and joining our team at Best Life Mortgage. You can check us out at bestlifemortgage.com forward slash why us if you happen to be in the blessed zone. Texas, South Carolina, and Florida, moving to North Carolina and Georgia very shortly, any day now. Now, that being said, this Realtor Attraction campaign allows you now to send in the Air Force and do some carpet bombing before you send in the foot soldiers. So it softens the ground. It gets them uh, pre-sold on at least the value proposition so they don't have the inclination of the proclivity that they normally would, the knee-jerk reaction they normally would of resignation, a high wall of cynicism, and like the instant knee-jerk, thanks but no thanks. Now, do you still have some of them who do that? Certainly, but it increases the odds they'll say yes. So coming back to the loan officer I was telling you about at Best Life, he's been in the game, by the way, for over two decades. He joined our team because he wanted our secret sauce on how to attract these realtors. And literally within the first couple of days of launching his campaign, he booked four appointments. In fact, he booked four appointments just in the last two days alone. So the system works when you work it. And now what's really cool about it is the posture it allows you to have. So instead of coming across feeling like you're kind of groveling and you feel kind of like you have your tail between your legs, He's got this mojo, this swagger factor, this confidence now he didn't have before. It's all energy, guys. When you're coming from a place of feeling like you're groveling, energetically, that's going to repel people. So a relaxed confidence and an absolute knowing that you're the bomb freaking diggity and you're the no-brainer of the year for smart, ambitious, growth-minded real estate agents to partner with and do business with, that certainty is mission critical because if you don't have that certainty they're not going to have that certainty right i call that certainty transference from your heart and mind to their heart and mind it starts with you if you don't have that certainty they're not going to have that certainty so one of the key elements to making this system work is of course you need to have lots of different tools in the toolbox and confidence and certainty around it that allows you to have multiple legs under the belief table of your certainty that you offer something more compelling more valuable more advantageous by a long shot than any of your competitors and when you've got that certainty it's oozing from your pores and that's the energy that these realtors are going to be picking up. So, for example, yesterday, I did some smiling and dialing on the back of this campaign for one of my LOs. I made five calls. I booked, I booked one appointment with a top producing realtor doing over 20 transactions, buyer side transactions uh, in, uh, in a year. And, you know, his first uh, repulsion back on that when I called him. He was already in this sense of like, well, you know, you tell me, uh, tell me what you got. Well, I'm happy to tell you what I've got. But at this point, frankly, what I've got is irrelevant because I don't even know for the right fit. So the first step is let's get together. Let's lift up the hood on your business and see whether or not we have the right synergy, the right chemistry to work together. If I have total certainty, or in this case, if John has total certainty, he can help you. He'll show you what that looks like. If he's not, he won't. But either way, 
you'll leave that call with massive value, massive clarity. We'll have some fun. And if we're the right fit, we'll be sending you buyers and sellers and helping you work smart, not just working hard. Fair enough. Notice the certainty, right? Instead of the realtor leading you, you're leading them. So that's how you build a rock solid recession proof business in the purchase market. So you're least and last affected by market downturns versus first and most. It all comes down to having a solid base of realtors. So instead of just relying on one or two or three, you're building stability through diversification. That's the key to building consistency. Building stability through diversification allows you to have that peace of mind that even if one of them gets poached for whatever reason, or let's say one just goes full blown stupid on you and they decide to get poached by some other competitor that's feeding them a bunch of shit leads from Zillow or whatever, right? It's like, okay, bless them and release them you know you can replace them at will. You can turn the faucet on at will to replace them with someone else who's even better. So you're always living in this abundance energy. You're always having that knowing that it doesn't matter if one or two drop because you can replace them at will. Think about the peace of mind that that would give you. Imagine that for a moment. Waking up every morning knowing you have a steady stream of purchase business coming from the best caliber partners with the best caliber borrowers who have the money, they have the down payment, they have the credit, they're higher average loan sizes, they're easier to convert, they're pre-sold on working with you before they even talk to you because they've been endorsed to you as the go-to mortgage pro by your referral partner. I mean, there's no better business than that, right? And to be able to do that in a way where all your business is by referral only, the rate shoppers, the looky-loos, the trailer park trash, all that kind of stuff is just a non-issue because you just have the best caliber, best quality partners and clients on a consistent basis. And you can turn up the heat at will. So in other words, if you want to get to 300K per year, that means you need to do about 25K a month. That means you're if you're making, uh, say, three Gs per deal, you're probably going to need about eight deals a month. That means you need about eight solid partners sending you just one loan a month. Now, if you want to make 600K, then you need about 16 partners or just get those eight partners sending you two deals instead of just sending you one deal. Lots of different ways to skin the cat, but you can see how fast you can start making surgeon money to be able to do what you want, when you want, with whom you want, anytime you want money, liberate your spouse money, take five, far, five star first class vacations, multiple times a year money, a place on the water with a beautiful view of the water, maybe with your own private dock or boat or beach or whatever. Like you can do that kind of crazy shiznit when you're making freedom money, right? And that's what becomes available when you master this process. It's all about going narrow, deep and rich with just a few solid partners instead of shallow, skimpy and wide with a few drama queens that are the, you know, the prima donnas or the low producers, you know, the whining, simply complaining, jelly donut eating low producers who don't have any business to send you even if they wanted to, that's not gonna help you much, right? So how do you get more realtor referrals without cold calling? You need a realtor attraction system. And you need the right mindset, the right posture to be able to make these overtures where you're in the power position. You're leading them. They're not leading you. And truth be told, everyone, even these top producing realtors are secretly begging to be led. They're begging to have someone lead them into the promised land, to show them how to work smarter, not just harder, to help them squeeze more profit producing nectar from their database, to show them how to convert more of their leads into closed deals, to show them how to convert more of the pre-approved buyers into deals under contract, to show them how to get more five-star reviews so they can show up and shine online and dominate their market is the only logical choice. They're needing and wanting and praying for leadership, leaders who lead them into the promised land with love, with caring, with concern, with compassion, with certainty, with confidence. And when you're able to show up with that kind of light, love, and leadership, the whole world is now your oyster. And that's precisely why smart, ambitious, growth-minded mortgage professionals hire us at MortgageMarketingCoach.com is to learn the secret sauce on how to do exactly that. So that's the first question that I wanted to handle. Since we started a little late, uh, I'll just be doing one more question. So here's the next question. How do I keep myself motivated when it feels like it's an uphill battle? How do I keep myself motivated? 
when it feels like it's up, an uphill battle to close deals. Well, welcome to the club. <laughs> we all feel that, right? Welcome to being human. I tell you, I've been uh, having a rough week this week feeling motivated because uh, my father-in-law just passed away on Thursday last week. And uh, he's been battling cancer for over a decade. And it's just been a really turbulent time just letting him go and then preparing for the memorial that's happening tomorrow and dealing with all the moving parts of all that and the emotional just grieving process. It's been it's been a rough week. It's been a turbulent week. It's hard to feel motivated when you're in that turbulence. So the first thing I'd say is just be gracious to yourself. You know, don't pretend that you have to be human. Just embrace your humanity and give yourself grace. It's OK sometimes to feel unmotivated. Uh, just declare that that's part of your humanity and not to say that it's okay to just, you know, sit there in the corner with your finger in your mouth, your thumb in your mouth and your tail in, uh, in between your legs and just laying there in your, in the fetal position, feeling sorry for yourself. Obviously that's not going to serve you. Maybe it'll serve you for a few minutes or maybe a few hours, but you don't want to live there, right? That's not a powerful place to live. But the first place to start is to be compassionate with yourself. And to just give yourself grace that you love and appreciate yourself, regardless of the fact that you're not feeling motivated right now. And you could just, just notice and check in. How do you feel? What are you feeling in this moment? And then give yourself that grace to say, I, even though I'm not feeling motivated right now, I still love and appreciate myself. Start with that versus beating yourself up, you know, and saying, I should be doing more. I should be further ahead. I should be further along. I should be doing this. I should be doing that. And then you wonder why you're feeling shitty, right? Well, feeling shitty tends not to give you kick-ass results. You may have noticed. Feeling shitty tends to produce shitty results. So I would start there. And then you want to create a routine. Start to cultivate a routine. So instead of trying to think about motivation as something you do as like, you know, trying to jumpstart a car. Instead, think about a routine that naturally induces motivation every day. For me, it's getting on my knees in prayer in the morning, waking up early, go to bed early, waking up early, having a meeting with my maker, getting centered, getting anchored in, into peace and power and poise, getting to connected to my purpose. And then I go and I exercise that raises my energetic frequency, right? Raises my metabolism. And while I'm exercising, I'm listening to inspiration, motivation, education, two birds, one stone, right? No extra time needed. And then I'll come home and I'll make some healthy breakfast for the family. And then I'll go and I'll do some, uh, I'll take a cold shower. Cold showers, by the way, are one of the ultimate ways to feel motivated. You want to feel motivated? Take a cold shower. I'll tell you, you'll feel like you got pep in your step and sparkle in your eye like never before. For the dudes in the house, I get it. It's operation shrinkage, right? There's some see shrinkage is real, right? Shrinkage is real. But I'll tell you what, the more we shrink, the more we soar. So bring it on, baby. Operation shrinkage is what I adore. And I say that because I've been doing that for like four years. And man, it gives me energy like you would not believe. So I double dog dare you to do cold shower for five days straight. See if it doesn't change your life. Monday to Friday, man, it's like the warrior's way. I'm just ready to man up, champion up, warrior up, and crush it after that cold shower. Sound soundtrack of awesome. I'll listen to some music that gets me pumped. That's what I call the soundtrack of awesome. I'll listen to some, you know, music that just reminds me of a magic moment that just puts chills down my spine. Like I just feel so anchored to a powerful emotion just from one song, the energy of that song. I'll make a nice, clean, taut, out of sight, just right bed, like military press sheets, everything just right. That's another way to get motivated is just you don't wait to get motivated to do it. You do it and then you get motivated visualization, visualize your dream in advance as if you already have it. Feel the energy of your dream, the glory of your dream as if you already have it. And affirmations, I do affirmations. I'm so happy and grateful now the money comes to me in every in ever increasing quantities through multiple sources of income on a continuous basis. Yes, right, you feel that energy. I love knowing that happiness is a choice and I choose to be happy, yes feel that energy. So it's about leading your energy instead of you letting your energy lead you. It's about leading your circumstances instead of letting your circumstances lead you. It starts from the inside out. It's all about having that winner's mindset. Success is an inside job. 
So that's where I'd say there. I hope that helps. All right, guys, that's all we got time for today. If you dug this, pop in a comment, give us a five-star review on iTunes. We'd love to hear from you. If you didn't dig it, then let us know that too, and we'll stop doing it. But I trust you got value from this. If you'd like, it, like to find out more about what we can do here at Planet Prosper with MortgageMarketingCoach.com to pour gasoline on the fire with your business and get you working smarter, not harder, I invite you to book a complimentary breakthrough call at mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Again, that's mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. We'll have an honest conversation, just a real talk conversation on the phone with either myself or one of my consultants. And we'll just lift up the hood on your business. We'll look at what's working, what's not working, where you're at now, where you want to take it. If we can help you create a breakthrough and pour gasoline on the fire, we'll show you what that looks like. If not, frankly, we'll be the very first to, to advise you to pass on our services. But either way, you will leave that call with massive value, massive clarity, Clarity, chances are we're going to have some fun. So if that sounds cool to you, book the call, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks for hanging with me. Thank you for being part of making history our first and first ever green screen technology visuals being brought to life live here on our podcast episode. First ever with the green screen. I hope it worked okay. And to boot, to get the energy of knowing I just came out from literally being like a drown rat outside in a torrential downpour with the sub pump and i was like literally up to my neck full of water getting all this water out of my backyard and out of my garage because we had it coming down in sheets so i'm gonna bounce and go see if it's still a-okay my son is manning the sump pump as i speak so thank you for listening thank you for watching we'll see you on the next episode let's go after your dreams let's make it real peace